Here's what the first ever iOS looks like. Oh boy, this took a while. Because every tutorial required Windows XP. And it's so old that even this 2011 MacBook Pro doesn't support it. So I set out to find Windows XP and a compatible computer. But eventually found this copy of Windows XP that my dad bought all the way back in 2001 in my own closet. So, yay. This laptop I found wasn't working at all. And like I said, this laptop can run it, but doesn't officially support it. So after finding a few loopholes, I finally got Windows XP working on it. And so after going through the whole process, downgrading it, bypassing the activation, bypassing the sim lock, we're finally on the iOS 1 home screen. Bro, it's actually crazy how bare bones iOS 1 was. You see this, no app store, didn't exist yet. Look at all these old school icons. You can't even scroll, there is no second page. Why would there be? You can't download any apps. Check this out. When you open Safari, it tries to go to the iPhone start page, which sadly doesn't exist anymore, but I can see this blowing people's mind in 2007. 